Hey guys, welcome to another Lost Ark video. In today's video I wanted to share with you my complete island run, as well as some other follow up stuff I'm still working on in terms of the islands. Now I know there are a million island guides online, and I do not believe or pretend this is some kind of ultimate island guide or whatever. This is simply how I did it, and it seemed to work out well. So I thought I would share it with you guys, in the hopes that it would help some of you also. As always, if you know a better route or something I may have missed, please feel free to share. I always love to know where something is that I missed, because I hate missing out on stuff. So, let's get into it. To begin, you will not want to start this run until you've completed the story quest up till the end of Vern, and probably have done a few Chaos Dungeons and stuff, and have your gear score to around 302 plus mark. The whole point to this run is primarily for the materials you will need to get your gear score to 460 plus and ready for Rohendel. So once you are all set with that stuff, head down to Wavestrand Port in East Lestura. I have included a small map of this route, but as you know, while traveling you can always enter the map screen, type in the name of the island I mentioned, and it will mark the location on the map to make things a lot easier. From Lestura, you will head out to the Serenity Isle. Here you will find two Makoko seeds, as shown on this map. You will also find a short straightforward purple quest here. It is four stages with the final stage being to travel and do some dungeons. These are the Morai Ruins found in the Saland Hills and Tortix Heart found in of course the Forest of the Giants. I recommend saving that final step for after the run but it is important to complete it afterwards as it rewards a plus three skill point potion that permanently increases your skill points by three obviously. You will also receive on this island for completing everything a Serenity Isle token 10 lavish destruction stone fragment chests, and 43 lavish guardian stone fragment chests, and plus 2 courage for your character. Our next stop is Blackfang's Den. You will not receive any materials for doing this island, however you will receive pirate coins, and a lot of them, which you will need later in the route to complete some tasks, so it is a great place to get started. You will also get 4 Makoko seeds on this island, which are shown on this map. The quest chain here is very straightforward, and for completing it you will receive a Vitality Increase Potion, two Uncommon Engraving Recipe Chests, and three Rare Battle Engraving Recipe Chests, Legendary Uncommon Card Pack times 5, you will get 10 High Seas Chests, Pirate Star Astray, Certificate of the Pirate, Creation Fragment times 5, Pirate Coins, 100 Gold, Kindness, and Courage for your character. The Island Token for this island is a Rapport Reward from Black Fang, so it will take some time to get. And after you're finished there, our next stop is Freedom Isle. This island, once again, does not offer materials. This stop is also for pirate coins, which again you will need later. You will also find three Makoko seeds on this island, as shown here on this map. The quest chain here is very short and straightforward, and won't give you much trouble to complete. Our next stop is Lullaby Island. When you reach this location, the first thing you should do is place your Bifrost location here, because the quest chain here will require you to come back three more times later. This island can be annoying, but once it's done, you will see it is well worth it in rewards you will get later on. After taking the first quest when you arrive, you will have to find three hidden fairies. I have marked their locations here on this map. You will also have to provide specific responses to each of their questions, which should be appearing on your screen now. After this, you will receive a quest to do an event three times. You will be unable to do this right now because you will likely not have the Song of Resonance. You will be getting it later on though on this route, which is why I mentioned setting your Bifrost here to return. To complete the third quest in this chain, you will need three Voices of the Forest. Only one drops per chest of Sleeping Songs. So, in other words, you will need to complete the Cooperative Quest on the island three times, and after that though, you will receive the Forest Minuet. Now, there is a meme going on in chat that you require a group to complete this, you do not. Just be there when the quest starts and wait for the 5 minute delay that gives people time to get there. And then play your song. Enter the cave and then play your song again. It's very simple. You will also receive 4 Makoko seeds on this island. I have shown the locations of them on this map. Two of them you can only get while taking part in the event when you return. So don't forget to grab those while you're in there playing your song. Our next stop is going to be Toto Silver Island. This island will only take about 15 minutes at most and is really easy. You will receive the Emote Frustrated and 13 Splendid Shard Chests and Kindness Plus 6. There are also 3 Makoko Seeds here as shown on the map, so be sure to grab those before you leave. And our next location is a cool one. It is Estella Island, which for some reason is being bombarded with falling stars. 
You won't get any upgrade materials here, but you do get a ton of other useful stuff, and it requires very little effort, so definitely worth the stop. The stuff you will receive for completing this island are Estella's Island Token, this by the way, is randomly from looting the Falling Stars, but is not really difficult to get, so you should get it within half an hour. A Kindness Potion, a Stat Increase Potion, 8 Uncommon Battle Engraving Recipe Selection Pouches, 4 Uncommon Engraving Recipe Selection Chests, and 4 Legendary Uncommon Card Packs, 4 Creation Fragments, and a Colorful Star Fragment. There are also four Makoko seeds on this island for you to find. These can be found at the locations on this map. And our next stop along this route of course is Peito. This is not really an island, but rather a large resort sort of ship floating on the ocean. There are many quests here and many quest chains bring you here, so I won't get into all of the potential rewards you can get at this location because the list is very long and complicated, with many of them requiring 7-10 to 10 Unas tasks and stuff like that to complete. But I will say there are two very important things here. One is the Song of Resonance that we had mentioned earlier. This is sold here by this vendor for 16,500 Pyre Coins. This is the song you need, if you remember, to complete the event back on Lullaby. Also, there is a short easy quest right in front of this table that rewards you with the emote Sway. You will also need this emote for later in the route as well. There are four Makoko seeds located on this ship, as shown on the map here. This will be a short stop, but an important one. Next we will need to head to Starlight Isle. This island has only two NPCs and little else. And the quest chain here is rewarding and very straightforward, however, it will require some traveling so I recommend doing it up until step 4 which will send you to Runaway Island. Do not go there now as you will have another stop along this road sending you there also. So just keep it in the back of your mind for later. This is a great stop though because it rewards you with Leapstone Chests which are a bottleneck while trying to upgrade your gear. You will also find two Makoko seeds on this island. They are shown on the map and very very easy to get, so don't forget to grab those. The worst part of this island is running up and down the stairs in the tower. Our next stop on this route takes us to Panda Island. Yep, it seems every MMO these days has to have an island of pandas. I will begin here by showing you the Makoko seed locations. At the arrows is a hidden unmarked door into a hut or so on to receive these Makoko seeds. The reason I am showing you this is because you will receive a quest here to find all of the hidden locations on the island, and these are them. This island has amazing upgrade rewards. You will receive 38 Splendid Destructive Stone Fragment Chests, 11 Lavish Guardian Stone Fragment Chests, 28 Splendid Harmony Leapstone Chests, and 12 Splendid Shard Chests, and your character will receive plus 2 Wisdom. Another great reason to come here is you will receive a Panda Disguise set once you reach a certain level in Una's dailies with this island. Our next stop is probably my favorite on this route, not because it is exciting or anything, but because of the sheer ridiculous amount of materials you will get for completing it. This is, of course, Dreamgall Island. You won't be able to finish the island though just yet. Here is where you will need the Song Forest Minuet, which is, of course, the reward for completing the Lullaby Island event three times. So until you have done that, you can only complete up until you receive the quest back to work, but I still recommend doing it up until that because the materials here are nuts and you can simply return upon completing the lullaby for the rest later. You will find three Makoko seeds on Dreamgall Island as shown here on the map. Our next stop is Golden Wave Island. This location is very simple. Chests continually spawn and you race around looting them, which is like the Falling Stars earlier. You will only have two quests here, which will award engravings and not resources, but they are so simple and worth doing. You should stay and continue to loot chests for a little, till you get the island token here, as it is RNG from the chests. There are only two Makoko seeds found here, but they are in the same room and you simply smash some junk and go through the tunnel here. Our next stop is Facility X301. You won't get much loot here, but it is worth the stop. After you complete the short quest here you will receive a daily to unlock an access pass to the dungeon found here each day. This will coincide with the Unis task you have now unlocked for the island. Now the reason I stopped here was that after doing this for 20 days you will receive a hoverboard mount, which is pretty awesome. You will find 5 Makoko seeds on this island, and they are all easy to find, not hidden at locations marked on this map. And our next stop is a cool one. It is a slaver island called Calthurt's Island. Here you will have a short quest chain to complete awarding you engravings, but the real benefit to this island is in purchasing of the prisoners. You can purchase 5 per day, and when you do that, they will send you mail containing chests. These chests will contain RNG loot including a pile of epic crew applications, decorations, the island token, and many other useful valuable items. 
you of course purchase them with pirate coins, but it is well worth it to do each day. You will also find three Makoko seeds on this island marked on the map here. Now, after you have completed Calthert's Island, you will have to go to Runaway Island to complete the quest chain. This is good because this is also where Lena from Starlight Isle had sent you in her last quest, so complete those here as well as the quests you find here. Well guys, that's the route, and by the end of it I had enough materials to upgrade my character's gear to almost 600 gear score. There will be a few little cleanup quests you left along the way that send you far and wide, and although I do recommend doing them for the additional rewards, I do not recommend doing them mid-run. It will slow things down and make the run take days. I know this was a long one, so I made sure to add chapters, but I do hope it helps some of you out there who have been overwhelmed on where to go next. I also recommend visiting Shadow Island. I didn't include it in this route because it takes some time, but upon completing it, you will get a ton of leapstones there as well. So be sure after you've completed this run to search your map for Shadow Island and do the tower there. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next one.